welcome to my channel Caribbean Charm. My name is Abby and what we're doing today is that we're building a chicken coop slash rabbit pen in my little small garden. The dimensions of it is 10 by 7 feet and uh, the chicken coop is going to be very small but we're trying to be able to produce some eggs and some meat for our family. So you know we start simply living simply right here in the caribbean doing what we can i hope you enjoy and that it gives you an idea that you don't have to have a big piece of land in order to be able to be self-sufficient in some way So you will notice that there's an arch trellis there already and that's an area that's very important in the garden as the garden is only 10 feet by 7 feet. Very small space to grow much for a family but uh, by growing vertically I've been able to really amp up my production. I grow my pumpkins, my watermelons on that trellis and still able to grow crops underneath. And now we will be able to grow our some of our meats and our eggs under this trellis. So with him working with the trellis there, it's because there's a vine already running on the trellis. And uh, I'm so grateful that he was willing to do that for me. Now the dimensions of this rabbit pen slash chicken pen is 4 feet wide by 2 feet deep. It's not very big but it is something, it's a start. And that's it, you can't finish what you haven't started. And in this instance we are starting to have some level of food freedom where we'll be able to produce 60% of our protein right here on our little garden spot. As time progresses, I will continue to post videos on how we're getting along, how the rabbits are growing, how the chicks will be doing, and uh, to give you some motivation that you can do it for yourself as well. And how regularly I'll be breeding the rabbits, and uh, how often I was getting eggs from the chicks when they start to lay.
now a lot of this material that we're using is what we found hanging around the house uh, we have a lot of those angle irons that my husband are using for the four corners of the pan and that's actually better for our climate as it would take a little longer to break down and uh, we wouldn't have any pests and so on coming after it as you know in the Caribbean we have a lot of termites and so using wood directly in the ground it wouldn't last very long so uh, we're using material that we have hanging around and um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy we just need it to be level and for me it just needs to be pretty at the end Now I'm practicing organic growing methods uh, where I am not using any pesticides in the garden. Uh, the most I'm using is neem oil or regular dish soap to combat the aphids and the ants. And so I am greatly looking forward to having organic fertilizer in the form of rabbit um, manure and the chicken manure. I'm very excited about it as I know it would improve the quality of the soil and of course the produce will be way better. So we're using the wood as a form of insulation between uh, the corrugated sheet metal for the rabbits as we need to keep them as cool as possible. So time got away from us and it got dark really quickly and so we needed to cut the corrugated metal in order to protect the wood so that it wouldn't get wet uh, because we're still getting monsoon rains at the moment and so what he's going to be using is those yellow shears that you're seeing there instead of his angle grinder to cut this corrugated steel met this corrugated steel metal so he's measuring it and uh, getting it right so that we can get this 
onto the chicken pan. So he's using his hands and the shears to cut this corrugated metal and I am positive that that must take a lot of power to do that. I surely would not have been able to do it by myself. I'm totally grateful that he's doing it though. So at this point we recognize that we wouldn't have been able to finish any more on this project for today. So after cutting the corrugated steel we recognize that probably next weekend when he has more time he will finish up this project for me. I am so excited that we have started this because all it means is that we just have to finish it. And uh, we look forward to sharing a lot of what we know and what we will learn about raising our own meat products with you guys.